WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noontime update. The Dow is down 69 at 26,342. Might have a little struggle here with a little double topish uh, pattern on the daily at 26,480s. If it does close this week at any point above 26,670, that's almost like a breakout to a certain sense. Certainly starts the leg C up in the weekly chart. We'll see what happens because. The gap that was that very strong gap up on Friday, I suspect quite a bit will be filled in. We'll see how the 26,280 uh, area holds on any pullback. You've got the S&P, which is also taking a little bit of a breather here, uh, a better pattern. In fact, it's already in leg C in the weekly chart, leg F in the uh, Daily uh, down seven and a half at 2899, testing the 2900 level that was resistance for a couple of days, and then boom, we went right through it. So we'll see what happens. How it can hold 2685 uh, is going to be key. And the moment it gets to 2620 uh, at any point in the next uh, four or five days would be really important if it does that. The QQQs, that's the NDX 100, are trading right at this moment down 62 cents at 185.22. Made a new recovery high. Oh man, it is at 186.07. The all time high is 187.53. It's like a dollar and a half away from an all time high. That is amazing. Much better than the Dow. And you're looking at the IWM, which has been struggling lately. And then it had a really nice session. Um, Friday is giving back some today. It's down 62 cents at 157.06. But what's really interesting to me is gold took a bit of a dive earlier on. It's come back a little bit. It's down three at 12.92. It's going to be very important because it needs to hold the low that was made right on the. This is um, April the fifth, April, uh, April the fourth, uh, 12, 8, 12, 12.84. It really needs to hold that. A break under that says, oops, it can start to test this very long-term uptrend support line. That's going to be important. And it's interesting that the dollar. <clears throat> The dollar is now down four cents at 96.93. It was down a little bit more. Even Friday had a, a, an interesting candle. This is the Chapman Wave Roman candle. It did get into halfway of the candle. So we're going to be watching this closely because it keeps coming back from lows. Um, the dollar is still holding pretty darn well when you think about it. And crude oil finally is down a little bit. It's down 73 cents at 63.15. I'll be right back for my Tiger Technician's Hour. We'll be talking stocks today. I'll be right back. Otherwise, see you tomorrow. Have a great day.